Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest went from wardrobe stylist to CEO. His career encompasses over 20 years in design. His prowess for defining creative strategies to fuel brands is what continually ignites him. Innate artistic aptitude makes him a highly sought after partner for Fortune 500 companies. He is the epitome of the convergence of eclectic style, art, culture, and people. And guess what, guys? He's my friend, and I'm so glad he's here in the peek through right now. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Patrick T. Cooper. Hello, hello, hello. Man, look at you looking all dapper and dandy. You, you put on a real collar shirt for this. Well, of course, of course. We're talking about entrepreneurship and presentation. And oh. so it's very important to always exude your best and, and be at your best. And actually, I'm following uh, Don, Danielle. Yes. And that woman was <laughs> on fire. So yes, I guess I, I've got to add a little bit more a little bit more heat to this fight to keep it going, to get people encouraged. Yeah, man. Danielle, uh, I've known Danielle for a very long time. And, uh, man, she's always been a firecracker. Anytime you need wisdom, guidance, or whatever the case may be, she's the person that you can count on for that. And Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And I, I thought about you when she talked about the incredible, your incredible factor, because, Patrick, you have that incredible factor. And... You have been. <laughs> Don't well, do it. Thank man. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm really, I, I, I think Danielle and I, we all need to just sit down and have a, another conversation offline because she was hitting on some, some, some really powerful notes. And it's interesting to be in this time, in this climate, mm -hmm. in this, in this culture right now, and to hear other voices that are in alignment with you. Yeah. Uh, or that uh, uh, resemble the communications that you're having with clients and with people on a daily basis. So he hearing that was, just in, I mean, she just doesn't know. She's she blessed me truly. All right. So so you have a few uh, tips and things to help people get their ass off the fence tonight. Uh oh, and uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> and, get, that, get, get, get your ass off the fence or get up off the sofa. Hey, the fence away. in this day and age, the sofa could be somebody's fence. Correct. Yeah. So, and so, Instagram can be your fence. Social media social can be media your fence. Period. Yeah, you're right about that. Yeah. yeah. And gossip could be your fence. <laughs> Worried about other people's business could Explain be your that fence. one. Gossip. Absolutely. What about but gossip? I digress. What was your question? I want to hear about this gossip you're talking about now. Well, again, I uh, we talking about entrepreneurship and and um, I, I'm, I'm going to piggyback off of what Danielle said just a second ago when we talk about getting still, being quiet. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes, a lot of us, what what I thought was the most impactful component of COVID, of course, it still is here. It's yeah. going to be here. It's not changing. Um, you better learn how to cope with it and work with it or work around it. Right. Uh, for your business, and that would make you uh, successful. And the ability to pivot shows your character, right? Uh, right? Because all of us fail, you know, and I think of if there's no such thing as failure, it's just your next step to success, right? True. That. And so ultimately, when we talk about that, and I mentioned gossip, or I mentioned Instagram, or I mentioned Netflix, and things like that, I'm speaking of all of the all of the components that are distractions True from that. you knowing or actually dialing into your purpose. Mm -hmm. And that's very important for a lot of people. What drove a lot of people crazy is the fact that they were in the house and they actually had to listen to their thoughts and be aware. You didn't have the distraction of running to work or getting away from your spouse or things like that. You really are working within the confines of your home. And so many people over the years would tell me, oh, I want to be self-employed. You just make your own schedule. Oftentimes people don't realize that you sit in front of the computer eight hours a day in the house more. by yourself um, coming up with creative strategy for these yeah. companies. And mm -hmm. you are alone. It's no, you know, it's not a picnic. And I think a lot of times people just took that or they think 
uh, the ideology of being self-employed is you're sitting at home, uh, I guess, making cookies and um, uh, going mm -hmm. to the gym when you want to, or uh, all of those things. So it's just a huge misconception. Now, you, you talked about drafting a blueprint, um, and I, I thought that was kind of key because a blueprint oftentimes people don't look at is it's a roadmap. Absolutely. So, you know, and uh, with a roadmap, if you've drafted a roadmap, you know where you need to go. Sometimes getting there may be a challenge of, or two or three right. Uh, right. or seven, but right. you have to have a road. Do you believe you have to have some kind of roadmap or blueprint in order for you to get started? Oh, absolutely. Here's the I'll draw this analogy for you. I, I I'm not if Google called me to come and do consulting, I'll be there. <laughs> but I feel like oftentimes in today's society, we are so used to grabbing a phone mm -hmm. to navigating to your destination. Right? right. So follow me on that. When people travel years ago, even in my lifetime, you had to have a map. You had to have a map for direction, because if you go off the wrong path, you might find yourself three hours off course. Right. 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 And all of these technology components have lessened our ability to dial into your intellect. So when you're talking about a business that you've never embarked upon, why would you go out there without at least a plan and then having a backup plan to support the initial plan and then a backup for the backup plan? One of my best friends is I, I shout out to all of my Sagittarius women. We're not going to go into Zodiacs. But my would it, would it be Sagittarian? They are planners, and uh -huh. they have and and then my Aquarius family, they have plans A, B, C, all the way through Z, right? Mm -hmm. And those things help you to stay in alignment with with what your original goals were. And when you think about a business plan, uh, the most important thing is figuring out what the ROI is. What is the return on investment? And ultimately, what you want to walk away from this business plan with, whether that's $50 million, $100 million, and mm -hmm. putting a time period to that plan. But often, again, a lot of it, it's um, it's made to appear to be easy. Like everyone wants Jeff Bezos money, but no one wants to put in that work that he's probably had to go through to get it. Yeah. Everyone wants to align themselves with an Oprah. But they don't know that she did some sub tier markets before she got to prime time. Right. We are so used to tapping into the fame or the fortune, but not looking at the grunt work that has to be done to get you to the platform. Ultimately, where everyone sees you or everyone's walking up to you and ask you dumb questions like, well, what's your secret? Ain't no right. secret. The secret yeah. is getting your ass up and going to work. <laughs> <laughs> and figuring out and getting your plan and going after it. Yeah. But it's so yeah. crazy. Like people will go, uh, you go to book signings. I, have, I hear people ask, you know, people that have done successful things and they ask, well, what is your secret? Secret? <laughs> Chances are they get up at four or five o'clock in the morning or up in the wee hours of the night working, 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 and then having to get up in, after taking a power nap like your uh, <laughs> guest before me. Which right. I took a power nap today so that I could be, like she said, bushy, uh, um, bright eyed and bushy tail um, again, because you make investments in what you believe in. Mm -hmm. And so when you think about this, this, too, is an avenue for people to be aware about what you do, how you've succeeded. And then, of course, along the way, if we can inspire. <laughs> <laughs> someone to be great, then that's what we're here to do. That's exactly what we're here to do. So you can be inspired to get your ass off the fence. <laughs> that's it. That's it. And, and you, you say something else about blossom where you are. I, I think it was key what you said a moment ago about we're always looking for if I can just get uh, uh acting gig with Tyler Perry, if I can just get in front of Oprah, if I, if, if I can just do all these things. And, and you talk about stop looking for the perfect timing and get right. rid of that that if the proverbial if if i could just get some extra investors if i could just pay off this car note lord no let me just pay off this car note 
you know. <laughs> but so, so what? What is your what is your advice for people about blossoming where blossoming blossoming where they are? Because some people are looking at the grass around them. They're looking at the grass across the fence, and they're saying, "Oh, it's greener over there," and they don't have a clue on how to get their grass green and blossom right where they are right now. I have made. Patrick, I have made it. I'm, I'm, I'm with Darnielle. I, I forgot to say this to her when she said, hey, she made up her mind that she had a business. And although she had experienced some hardships within that business as it was developing, growing, she made up in her mind she was not going back to work for somebody else. So I feel that same way. I mean, I'd be damned if I'm going to go back and work for somebody else. Um, right. You know, so you got to make what you got going on work and oftentimes we're looking at well how do i do that and i i thought it was key when i saw you you, you talking about blossoming blossoming where you are why can't i say that word tonight blossom where you are yeah blossom where you are Absolutely. so what, what does that mean to you pat i think the late aretha franklin made a song about it a rose Ooh. is still a rose baby girl you still a flower a right? of so when you think about that um i i my what i want to share with anyone that is listening we all have trials and tribulations right right you know as as danielle said you go through bankruptcy been mm -hmm. there done that got the t-shirt nobody <laughs> wants to hear that though nobody right. wants to hear that and right. then everybody wants to uh um deflect as if they're walking around with american express credit cards and you know black and all of these things right which are I all the you. american dream if right. you're not sitting at dinner and you're not dropping this black car then you're not successful true and all of that is part of this ideology that the material goods or the status makes you a success right mm -hmm. true and oftentimes we will say if i could just get you need to eliminate that from your mind or, or your thought process because mm -hmm. i always said oh if i could just pay this call right right I paid a call right when I finished college and I said to myself, I'm, I'm going to start this business. Right. Mm -hmm. And I, I've worked in corporate for a very short time. I always knew where I wanted to go and how I wanted to get there. Um, it's been a struggle on, on occasion, mm -hmm. but the proverbial if is I'm going to pay off this car. So I take money from a business deal, pay off the car, the uh i don't know i think i was changing the timing belt on this acura years ago mm -hmm. and i took the car to the car dealership they changed the timing belt i'm trying to be proactive on maintenance and they freight one of the fuel wires on the car okay just paid the car off right car's right. not worth now what it's you know because it's some years later right. you pay off the car then they burn it up and you're back at square one you're back on the hamster wheel about now I've got to get a car note because I've got to get around or I've got to figure out what that is. Right. And we always condition ourselves to say, if I could do, if I could just, mm. if you stop spending all the time talking about what if you could get <laughs> and go out and find what you need or work with what you have, then the other things will come. Because if you're operating in your purpose, money, it, money will come when you're operating on your purpose. And I think several of my friends that are on, on the entrepreneurial journey will tell you when you really dial into what you are good at, clients will come. Clients are coming by word of mouth. Your, your, your guests before me are, uh, um, I, I, we, we just piggyback off of one another because ultimately so many people will say, well, you know, you, you, you don't have 20,000 followers, followers. Right. Yeah. If, yeah. My thing is this, I've been in the game way before Instagram and right. social media, right? Mm -hmm. And I was moving and shaking and doing my thing way before I had to daily note it on an app for you to think I'm hot. <laughs> I don't need that validation. Now, what I'm getting ready to do in 2021 is I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to let you see who's fly. But ultimately, that's not my MO, right? right. Because right. as a black man, you know, if I go into that whole situation and that play out, you know, you have to balance those things because there's a certain level of humility. There's a certain level of humbleness. And to be honest, as a Georgia, as a Georgia peach, 
we want we weren't on flex zone. We don't, uh, you know, all that flexing and and you know, standing in front of cars with the hundreds of thousands of dollars and dumping it on dashboards and stuff like that. That's, I mean, I mean we don't do that. It, don't it, do that. Uh, it lacks class. It yeah, truly does. Yeah. And and I mean, you know, we can all get we can go from bankhead to bookhead, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, that's not my mo to tell you how fly I am. I think if you are a sophisticated individual, when you walk into the room, people will know it. If you yeah. have something about yourself, if you're going somewhere, it will permeate off of you and you will meet, you will get in alignment with the, with people that are in their purpose like this, like this podcast. Um, I think we're all in alignment for yeah. um, helping one another grow, helping one another to be, uh, to evolve and to gather knowledge, right? And to get resources to expand and expand and continue to grow. And of course, <laughs> be inspired, huh? And, there it and, is. and get your ass off the fence. That's it, that's it. So yeah, so when you think about that, it's, it, these, are, these are the components. So don't think so much about what you don't have. Work with what you have. If you don't have, I'm, I'm, and I'm really about to make you laugh right here. You you know, we used to have the the, the school in the school store. Uh -huh. where, you know, if your mama had a little money, you yeah, would go yeah. to the school store before school started, right? And uh -huh. you would get the big pencil, the big thick pencil, right? <laughs> you know, I don't, they might have been 50 cent or 75 cent, right? Yeah. And so you felt defeated. I think Janelle Monet said in her song um, when she talked about how she couldn't shop for you know, Ralph Lauren in that yeah, day, right? She yeah. had to shop. Her mother got us some things from Salvation Army. Uh -huh. And I think the same thing. I've made Salvation Army look chic, right? Yeah. And yeah. so don't, don't look at what you don't have. Focus on what you do. And if you have a good jacket or a good suit from Salvation Army, wear it and wear it with pride. Get it tailored. And then when it's time, you're going to be looking at people saying, okay, I'm good with this Salvation Army. I can go to Saks Fifth Avenue. Either yep. way, I'm going to do me. I want to ask you this because you, you said surround yourself with other thriving entrepreneurs. A lot of people in our culture today feel like I'm going to do it on my own. And I, I just don't think that's possible. I don't think one person can do it all on your own. Everybody needs somebody. So somebody out here right now that's listening or watching, what would you say to them about surrounding themselves with other thriving entrepreneurs and not being in competition? I'm going to say this. Never take in, never, never, never take in destructive criticism, but be willing to listen to constructive criticism. OK. And I think when you start talking about entrepreneurship mm -hmm. um, and, 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 and again, destructive versus constructive. Oftentimes we are on the search and you're out by yourself. Right. And you you're so, so swimming in deep waters mm -hmm. and you're on uncharted territory. And so when you start dealing with that, sometimes some of us that are not strong in our thought process, some some of us may not be strong in our spiritual journey. So we are flailing in the wind, if you will. Right. But I think to a certain extent, I always tell my friends how blessed and fortunate we are because we have great foundations to jump from. And you know that, like we reference David York, our principal. Um, he is a great, was a great developer beyond our parents for mm -hmm. a foundation. True so that. you're able to jump off into the world knowing that you've, you've got this concrete foundation. And so when you, when you talk about criticism, Death is in the power of the tongue. So a lot of people might listen to this, the destructive criticism and stop, stop mm. dead in their tracks. And so when you get with like minded entrepreneurial spirits or other eagles, um, you then are able to gather some of their feed, some of their understanding, some of their experiences to elevate your game. Where, where will somebody find someone? that is like-minded and, and more so how, how would they be able to identify in your opinion well I, when you talk about 
when you talk about right now, um, I, I I did not go to a historically black college and university. Me either. And you didn't? Nope. Okay. And I had a friend of mine, Chris Cole, educate me a couple of weeks back about the experience of an HBCU. And when when we talk about that, I'm using this as an example um, because when you dial into that, those those elements are your family, right? Mm -hmm. Sorority and fraternal organizations, those are your, should be your backbone, if you will. And then even other social groups that you might engage upon. But for example, you know, they have the network marketing events here in Atlanta um, mm -hmm. and all those things, you know, you, you know, for uh, it's specifically African-American men, 100 black men, uh, um, Stephen Goldstein's dad and Mr. Goldstein, of course, was a leading founder of that. Yeah. And so I would assume those are the places where you dial in. I haven't had a mentor if you will, because I, I, I and that's not to say that I'm, I, it's vain or anything. Right. But right. I, I knew where I wanted to go, and I, I've been able to align myself with other business professionals and feed off their energies. Mm -hmm. And, and in that process, I've been able to sharpen, um, sharpen my sword and, and be able to sustain um, certain business ventures. But, you, you know, I, I'll say this. You might not need a mentor, per se, because you may not. I mean, you just may not need a mentor. But, you know, I think you and I both have had people who we respect or people who are respected in a certain industry or genre that can lend advice, that can give words of wisdom, um, who can encourage you during the downtimes and, you know, those types of things. And so I think that suffices. Uh, and that's right. about other and, people. And here's the thing about that. If you the biggest go getter in your group, you're in the wrong group. You're in the wrong right? group. So yeah. you need to be around people that's that's that for lack of better words, getting it. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like these colloquialisms of getting the bag and all that. I, you yeah. know, who wants a bag? I right. prefer a wide transfer. Um, <laughs> I don't need to touch money. Money is dirty. So when you think about that, when you're around again with people, again, that that's how I know who I need to be with, because yeah. anybody that's talking about getting the bag and all that, I, I, I minimize those colloquialisms. I don't I don't I don't I don't I don't, I don't understand that. So, again, um, we might, might we might not be in alignment. And so I can quickly hear that and say to myself, I'm moving on, you know, and that's OK. And yeah. it's absolutely OK. All right. So so somebody is they need help. You know, they need a little pick me up. They got you, we got to put our hands down here and we got to lift them up because they're, they're on the edge trying to climb over the fence tonight uh, as it relates to entrepreneurs. They're sitting at home right now with a host of ideas, but they don't know how to get those ideas out of their head and into reality. What would you say to them, Patrick? I would definitely say follow me at Patrick T. Cooper and stop by <laughs> www.patricktcooper.com. Um, I'm not I'm not ashamed of the shameless plug anymore. But I think, to be honest, Mo, I've had um, individuals tell me that by me living my life and being unapologetically true about who I am mm -hmm. and being open and transparent about the pitfalls that you might experience. The pitfalls of bad credit, you know, a car being repossessed, going through a foreclosure in 2008 and all of those elements. Right. When mm -hmm. you don't give those things energy, they can't hold you back. Right. But so yeah. many people are so embarrassed about things that have happened to them that they they, they allow their circumstances to impact their ability to make great choices moving forward. I know I'm not my circumstances. Right. Mm -hmm. If I was my circumstances, I'd be dead and gone. You right. know, things that have happened, you know, in my life that have been challenging. If I gave up based upon that, I mean, I would be disrespectful to my ancestors and the people that came before me. And so when I sit around or when people talk about, oh, I'm just depressed, depressed about what? <laughs> like, if you don't get up off your shoulders and get your ass up off the bed and get off that sofa <laughs> and get out here and figure out what you're going to do, what service you're going to provide and get some heat behind you and go after your dream. 
then we don't really need to discuss, you know, and if, uh, now unless you have a mental disorder or, you know, some things mm-hmm. are not where you need to be mentally. Right. Or right. you have a physical ailment, then, you know, let's cancel the excuses. Let's cancel the excuses. Now is the time. I think the world is looking. There has been a lot of change that has transpired in these last few months where mm-hmm. people are aware. And I will go on record as a native Atlantan that I would be, you know, to be honest, I'm standing on shoulders of like John, the, the late John Lewis, right? Mm-hmm. Who yeah. crossed the, the, the uh, bridge in Selma, the Pettus Bridge in Selma, and was brutally attacked. 1965, like March 7th, 1965, that day, mm-hmm. Bloody Sunday, right? Right. So why am I going to sit up here on this podcast with you and complain about anything? Uh, I don't care about what's going on in the political realm, in the political realm, because honestly, the people in the, I'm going to vote. So let's be clear. Mm-hmm. But the people in the political realm, you know, like someone challenged me the other day and started asking me, well, you act like you don't even care. I support the president, I have to because this is the democracy yeah. and the people spoke, right? And so whoever's in their position, don't complain about him, make a change, right? Mm. Don't sit around on your phone gossiping, talking about what he is doing. Because let me tell you one thing, mm. your tax money is going to pay for his his security for the rest of his life, right? And right. you sitting around complaining about it, about to be put outdoors because COVID not allowing you to keep your job is not a good use of your time, right? Right, right. And so those people are going to be taken care of. The people in the Senate, the Congress, they they good. Yeah, they they, they got the commercials exploiting everybody, talking about, especially here in Atlanta, uh, Sonny Perdue and, 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 you know, um, he knew about all these things and uh, uh, all those and and all those and calling people names. And I I feel like we're in a high school joning contest, Right. right? So know the facts. Make your decision. Get out there and vote. It's not over in Georgia. It's not over in Georgia. If you all are looking, it's not over. And, you know, stop complaining. Get about your business. Don't sit around with a bunch of people that's gossiping or, you know, anytime or sitting around with somebody that's sitting there watching Instagram go by. I, I like, I'm I'm working on being a little bit more engaged on social media, right. but Mo, I've got things to do. Proposals to send out. I can't sit and watch that all day and concern myself about what somebody else is doing. That's it's true. literally a waste of time. And to be honest, T-Mobile costs every month, every month, hundred some odd dollars for the phone bill. Why hmm. am I going to be on the phone wasting time if it's not an if lack of better words IPO or IPA? And that's an acronym for income producing opportunity or oh. income producing activity. We don't need to really talk, especially between nine to five. Now, listen, nine somebody, to nine somebody this- told me last week. Yeah, it was on the show last week uh, that they switched their mobile carriers. It's something you might want to look into Comcast or Spectrum. OK. Um, and Comcast, I looked on the site. I had no idea Comcast did this. So you're going to check your area, see if they're in. I think they're in your area, in Georgia. Um, but Comcast or Spectrum can give you phone service, unlimited talk, data, and all that kind of stuff for forty five dollars. Well, that's one line. See, again, people running a business. I've got five lines, so you know, I, I, it's it, it, these are the cost of doing business, right? So you can't can't complain. I'm just not going to allow people to be on my phone talking about other people's business or telling me or showing me something that has nothing to do with me. Right. Or my business development, especially during certain hours of the day. Now, you know, we laughing, you know, of course, I'm going to have dialogue, but I don't really want to spend my time doing that. Right. And I'm just encouraging anybody that wants to follow an entrepreneurial dream. You'll recognize that once you get in the thick of things and my brother, it, you have to really let my brother tell you his first thing. He says, and my mother will tell you when they call me my, my stand alive. Let, 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 let me call you right back. Let me call you right back. And I know you got that for me too. Mo. Oh, let, yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Start stuttering stuff. Start cranking up. Call. Let, 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 let. Uh, yeah. That type of activity. So, yeah. 
you know, it is what it is. You have to, you know, curtail your communication with those things. And, you know, along that journey, you know, a lot of people will say, you're just so busy. I don't have time to call you back. Okay. Yeah. See you at the top. It, it happens. Well, guys, uh, Patrick, thank you so much for joining us. Patrick, we'll be back on the show on the 22nd, right? You're talking about travel. We are travel. talking about travel. Yeah. yeah I can't well, that's one of my main, that was, what I mean, I hope we can get back around to this. It, it's very frightening because travel, had, travel and hospitality had uh -huh. begun to be a huge part of my business uh, uh, strategy mm -hmm. and, and, and telling the story of hospitality clients around the world. And so as we look at that and what that engagement will be for 2021 and 2022, it's, it's, it's dramatically different, dramatically different, dramatically different. Well, Pat, listen, man, we, we, we thank you. We look forward to seeing you again here on the show. And uh, um, if people want to connect with you on social media, tell them how to do that. It's at Patrick T. Cooper. And then my website is www.patricktcooper.com. And at Patrick T. Cooper, we're always looking to inspire and to <laughs> encourage. So make sure you stop by. We've got some great stories. We got some great content. And because of Mo Kick, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, 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 Because a certain, uh, a certain character kicked ben. me off. It inspired oh. me to go. I said, "Oh goodness, I've got to go out here and tell my story unapologetically." Hey, you're doing a great job out there. I see your videos. I see you uh, in all the places you are. That reminds me of your, your, your live and in color days, man. And I say keep doing it because right. I've always told you, man, I think you got that it factor that, as, as Darnell you talked about, that in, incredible factor. And people need to see um, what you have to offer. You have so much to give people and, you know, people won't won't be able to contain all that you have to give a man. So keep letting your light well, as shine. As long as the Lord keeps blessing me, I'm 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 gonna do that. I, for a, for a long time, it's it's people like you, it's people like my uh, my, my dear friend Keisha Noel. It's friend it's friends like I'm I'm calling them out. Chris Cole. It's my Jessica Robinson. It's my girlfriend Nani Smoot. Um, and 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 my brother who uh, will tell me. Just don't don't worry about this. Just, just do it, right? Yeah, just do it. Just and do it. Ultimately, now I'm in a position to really just do it. And yeah. this is not a Nike commercial. If mm -hmm. Nike wants to work with me, they'll have to. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, for lack of better words, so now it's just it's 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 go time, right? It's go time. And we're gonna right, inspire. Go Cheers. inspire people, man. Keep doing it what you do, and uh, we'll see you on the 22nd. Yo, 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 yo. You're in the mix. The world's finest, man. DJ. Stout. Like Half the radio on the telly. <laughs>